Okay folks, so what we're going to start off with today is looking at creating a, an 8x10 image within Photoshop. So I've now opened Photoshop, so if I go to File, New, and reading down the way, uh, I'm just going to call this Test. The preset I'm looking for is Photo, and I'm going to set up the size as 8x10. Now it depends what your final output is going to look like if you want it landscape or portrait. Okay, so I'm just going to select landscape because the image I'm working with is going to be landscape. The resolution output I would wish to be 300 for print, um, and depending on whether I'm using it on screen, it would be RGB, or for printing, it'd be CMYK. Okay, now as we are submitting everything digitally, we'll just keep it as RGB. And once I'm happy with that, I can hit OK. And there is my blank template. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is open up a new image to import and pop onto this 8x10 canvas. So I'm going to go to File Open. And I'm going to go and find an image to use. And I'll use the beach image here. So if I open, then it opens the image. Now, What's happened is this is populated the screen. As we can see, the layers are all flashing up pictures of the beach. However, my 8x10 canvas is sitting behind this image. Now, to see those, or to see the other image, we need to click on the restore button here, which will allow us to see the windows side by side. Now, just making sure that I've got my move tool selected, I can grab and move these windows about. And you'll notice whatever one has become selected, all this information appears relative to the, the window that we're using. Now to move this image across using the move tool all we need to do is hold down the left mouse button drag over and once we're happy let go and there we go. Now we no longer need this image so I can close that and what we're going to do is resize this image. So I'm going to pop it up in the corner to begin with and I'm going to go to edit transform scale grab one of the corners now before I start pulling out I'm going to hold down the shift key which constrains the proportions and pull out until it stretches enough to cover the whole side of the, uh, or the whole size of the canvas now let go of the mouse first before you let go of shift and then once you're happy hit tick okay and that will allow me then to move image to however I wish it to be to take up the full size of that canvas. Okay, now I can save this image by going to File, Save As, making sure it's a PSD, give it a name, check the location of where you want to save it, and then hit Save. If I want to flatten it to a JPEG, I change the format to JPEG, give it a name, check my location. Now if you're working with a number of layers and planning go back to edit the image you should always save your um, your work as a PSD. That will allow you to open it in Photoshop and edit it any which way you want. 